Hi, it's Danielle with the Right Body For You. You know, I was having a discussion the other day with my niece and my sister about body image and how we tend to only focus on the negative things. You know, this is what this is reality has actually taught us, that you go in and you, you look at the things like, oh, I hate my nose, I hate my ears, or my hair, or, you know, or I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm not pretty enough, or, you know, even just that I'm having a bad hair day. And we've been taught to focus on these things. And in that way, we can only change things by looking at it as what's wrong, you know. I like to say, the tool I'd like to give you today working with this is, what's right about me and my body I'm not getting. Because when you only focus on the negative things, what do you get? What do you find? You find negative things. If you go looking for the negative things, what are you going to find? Negative. You're just going to find that more and more and more. So the tool again is, what's right about me and my body I'm not getting. Maybe you have gorgeous hair. You know, that's something that came up with my niece. I was completely surprised. I had judged my hair as thin and just, you know, just not very, um, not very appealing at times, right? So she's doing my hair one day. My niece is doing my hair one day. And she's like, oh my gosh, your hair is so thick. I, I had no idea it would take this long to curl it. And it just, it completely changed my world. And what the neat thing was, is because I asked the question, I'm like, well, okay, what's right about this I'm not getting, I was able to actually receive what she said. Instead of going, oh, pff, you're just being nice because you love me, you're my niece, you know, you have to love me, you have to say nice things about me. I just went, oh, wow, thanks. You know, what, what did she see that I wasn't willing to? What was right about me and my body that she got that I wasn't willing to see? But because I was willing to ask the question and go, is she blowing smoke? <laughs> is she just saying these nice things because she loves me? Or is, you know, is there really something to it? Um, I was able to look at myself through her eyes. And that for me was such a gift because it began to open up also other things about me and my body that I had maybe judged or had forgotten or, you know, gone crazy about someday. So do this. Ask the question today. Instead of, what's wrong with my body? What do I have to fix? Ask, what's right about me and my body that I'm not getting? And you'd be surprised what comes up. Could be, wow, you know, I, I actually always see the good in other people. <laughs> Would you be willing to see the good in yourself? Or, you know what, I, I always get compliments on my nose. People like my nose, you know. What else? What's right about me and my body that I'm not getting? Because... When you focus on the negative, you go searching for it. Like I said, you find only the negative things. Does that make you feel light and happy? <laughs> or does it make you feel heavy and contracted? And it's almost you can feel your body actually pull into itself as you're judging it. But when you ask this question, what's right about me and my body I'm not getting, you can actually feel your universe expanding, getting lighter. And you step into that gratitude. What if one of the keys to changing your body and your life is grateful, is being, is gratitude for you, your body, and your life. And if, if you can't see this for yourself right now, I invite you to look through somebody else's eyes. Somebody who, who you know loves you and cares for you and it doesn't really judge you. Look through their eyes at you and ask, what's right about me and my body I'm not getting? See if that changes your universe. If you want to learn more, check out my website, Danielle.com, D-O-N-N-I-E, lle.com and uh, be nice to you be nice to your body and remember what's right about me and my body I'm not getting the answer might surprise you have fun thanks